You thought you knew Kiki Wyatt. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Essence stage, Kiki Wyatt! You don't know me. No. She's an ignorant bitch. Nobody understands me. Please don't follow me with that. Is the baby okay? I need a break. Just sit back and watch and learn. The bullying has to stop immediately. Look at him with his headphones on. <laughs> Kendall was kicking him. What did he hit you with? What will be your intention with my daughter? Keziah was born with trisomy 13, a genetic disorder. We got a meeting with Randall about this 10-song album. I thought it was eight. My plate is so full that eight is a lot. You want two more? It's been nearly a month, and I have not heard from Kiki. And as her manager, child, that's not going to fly. You know what, Andre? I love you tonight. Oh, really? This new album that me and Kiki are writing together, I'm so excited about it. It's just, with everything that her and Dre are going through, I really hope that we can just get it done. I love that Kiki is our own person, but I'm just worried that she takes on too much. You are more emotional than I have ever seen you. This is my life, honey. The good, the bad, the ugly. Welcome to Kiki Wyatt's world. Public announcement, children. Who in the hell got pizza in my damn window seat? Kiraya, get your pizza. Now, what are we gonna do with that pizza? I just wanna you eat gonna it. You gonna eat it or you gonna throw it away? No, I wanna eat it. So go in the kitchen and eat it. I'm Kiki Wyatt. And I'm back! Who's got a Skittle? Get this up. Get your funky shoes up. Sit down. Stop running. With a whole lot more, baby. A whole lot more. Raja! Part on seven rolling. Welcome to Kiki's world, honey. <laughs> We're here at the house with me and all my 50,000 children. Who shake their butt at Dave and Buster's dog? And you ain't care. said nothing about them no people smushing all up against their necks when you talk about that Dave and Buster's And. Excuse me. Can y'all please bring it down? I'm trying to do my interviews, baby. Lay out ass. Sorry, y'all. Please forgive me. <laughs> you ought to hurt me in the chin. My name is Kiever. My nickname is Bean. I am the first of 11 children. No, I did not. And Kiever lied to you. I said beat him. I didn't say Bean. Stop believing everything people tell you. Me and Bean met through social media. We've been together for like four plus years. I had came here, and I just never went home after that. We, we like became family after that. I never went home. Why would you do that, Kiraya? Trying to navigate the crazy around here, you definitely have to learn how to pick your battles. My name is Raja. It's Raja Key. Um, I have a nickname, but only my mom calls me that, so I want to keep it that way. Raja, AKA Poopy. That's what my mom call him. Here, babe, can you put my ring on my necklace? So, cause... Yeah, my name is Zachariah David Daring, and I am Kiki Wyatt's husband. I finally have a M-A-N that I can draw. Kiki's love life, child. One word to describe it, roller coaster, six flags. Got married at 18. It was awful. He drug her out a second story window and slammed her and her baby, which was Mimi, and another one in her stomach in the middle of the damn street. Almost did 
50 to life over this guy. I'm very glad I couldn't find you after that boy. The second one, ugh, mm -mm. ladies, if, if he ain't got a job in 10 years, you might want to find something else. My wonderful husband, Zachariah David Daring III. We like to spend time with him. And since he knows we like to spend time with him, he, he wants to spend time with us. I can see that he loves us and he cares about us. And he, the way he loves my mom, I love it. I love that too. He'll get up in the morning. He'll bring the kids down here. And I mean, Lord Jesus, hot dogs for breakfast is not breakfast. But to him, he can warm up a hot dog and give him a hot dog. But they're eating. Wait, the hospital. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Hello? Hi, Kiki. It's Dr. Pimple. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Um, I think I'm OK. Is the baby OK? Oh, yeah. He's fine. Just call him to give me an update. OK. Since Keziah has been born, it has been a journey. We're going to get my baby. He was born with uh, trisomy 13 which is a genetic disorder. He is on oxygen, he is on a ventilator, he is on a feeding tube. He's on a lot of medicines for seizures. The longest that he's been home has been almost two months. And when I tell you, I was a whole different person, like completely different because of my baby was right there. I feel completely incomplete when he's in the hospital. So we started with the Prozac. Very low dose that's utilizing breath holding. Otherwise, she's doing really well. I do think we can get him out of here. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Thank you so okay. much. It's been rough to see him struggle in his condition, but the hardest part has just been seeing the emotional side, especially with her, on just wanting her baby well and at home with her. Attention. Here she go. Attention, children. Children in the basement, children upstairs. I mean, whenever my mom has a family meeting with one of them little megaphone things or a microphone, it's just very aggravating because it's like, I can hear you. I don't need a microphone. I promise you, I can hear you. But anywho, but we got really interrupted. Interrupted, I mean, all the way. I don't see what's the purpose for it. I just feel like just send a group text and we all just get the message. But I guess it's traditional, you know, so like it's really dumb, but. And there's pizza on my table. Oh. Okay. So, y'all know that I signed a deal with Shiny Key Records. Who? Who? So that's how y'all is? No. Or, what, what, did what did you even say? I said Shiny Key Records. Shiny Key? Shiny Key. Shiny, shiny key. like shine a key. Shiny Key Records is a record label that um, has been around for many years. I have been with Shiny Key years ago, and then I kind of broke off and did my own thing for a little while. And so it's like just being with family again. Shiny Key. Shiny Key. Shiny Key, like Shiny Key. Who's Shiny Key? I think us older kids, we were just messing with her, but I think the younger kids, they were really struggling because they were like, uh. What in the world is Shine a Key? Okay, so you signed the deal. So anyways, and... thank you, Poopy. Okay, go ahead. That means I'm getting ready to record another record. Oh! I like my mom's music. I mean, you know, some of the past ones, I feel she could have ate them down more than what she did eat. You see what I'm saying? If you're going to do this record, make it, oh, make it like I like it. Not none of that. That old people stuff. I think my mom has a very powerful voice, and I really love to hear it when she's using it to sing. Now talk. Mm, whatever. I ain't recorded no nothing for real in six years, and I'm getting ready to start again. Shortly after my mom released her last album, we found out I had cancer, so our worlds just kind of came to a screeching halt. He went through hell, and it was so hard to watch. And it affected all of us, but it just created a tremendous bond, even greater than the one that we already had. Um, and I just tried to be there for every minute that I thought he needed me. We all know that Keziah is getting ready to come home. Oh, yay! Oh, yay. 
Look, Kes, when he's home, I'm gonna need y'all to be with him so I can go to the studio. Okay, go. Huh? So when? She tried to sneak that in there. When? Oh, when I hear stuff like that, it's not like a, oh, now I gotta watch the kids, but it's just like a, okay, let me get my mind buckled down and secure and ready to take care of these kids because I have to watch after them with my life, so. I'll just take them to the studio with me with the nurse and we just have all that crap hooked up at the studio. That's cool. They got a lot of plugs. What you say, Raja? So they got a lot of plugs, so he'll be fine. I come see him at the studio. I watch him at the studio. <laughs> Why is this such a big deal now when I say I want to go to the studio and work? I took all of y'all to the studio with me in the booth, recording, singing, with you sitting there in my lap or in my arms. I can't. Keziah is on a breathing machine. It makes too much noise. You know what? Uh, all right, y'all can have y'all can have a meeting on your own, or y'all can no. just go wherever. I'm done. Y'all, I just meeting. no. It's not mm -mm. a family meeting without mommy. That just made me feel bad. Everybody was just like didn't care about what she said. That's that just like, made me sad. Jeez, Louise. I just fear that my kids are not going to give me the support that I need to help me get through this because I'm already going through so much. And I just feel like I need more support than what I'm getting right now. Just gather your thoughts. Do not cry. Do not cry. Do not cry. Okay, you ready? Just run Melody. She gonna have to fill up on some Red Bulls. Ooh wee. Even if you're upset with me, you can't let that get in the way of sorry. your business. Maybe this is confirmation that you do need to focus on you. We've been together 13 years because if we have something to say, we're going to tell each other. And so I'm popping up at the house. You got to find a way to fix the situation with Andre. On all respect, shut up. Do not cry. Do not cry. I was about to cry my eyeballs out because I don't like seeing mommy cry. You just need to calm down. Just leave me alone. When baby Keziah was born, it's been a whirlwind for her. Trying to take care of him and running back and forth to the hospital. It's been very stressful trying to watch her juggle it all. We just don't want to watch him here. We just yeah, want to make sure that you're right present. Here. Why you trying to make it seem like we ain't happy for you and we ain't supporting you? We are scared to watch him like that. When Kizai is home, if mom is not around and I'm just in there holding him, I'd be so scared because I'm like, if he coughs and he starts choking and stuff, like, what am I supposed to do? Baby, can somebody help me, please? I got you, oh, Where's Kira? Hey, Hi, guys. Oh, you got Kira. OK. Hey, where's hey, mommy mama. at? She just called Mama, she needs you. She, what's she, what's she, wrong she with little her? Down. I am Lorna Wyatt, the mother of Kiki Wyatt, better known as Nana. And none of this would be possible without me if I hadn't decided to be a bad girl before I got married. Because that's the truth. Is <laughs> something wrong with the baby or what? No. no. Well, don't scare me, Jesus Christ. I, I just did. want them to go out. Oh, where are you going to put that? Nobody wants to hear this to me just a minute ago. She's hormonal. OK, let me see. Who said I'm hormonal? Nobody. When Kizaya has to go back into the hospital, Kiki's mindset is completely different. She's so quiet sometimes. That's very out of character for her. Woody, why are you crying? What's the matter? So we had a meeting, and I was just, because I'm excited, because I, I have not done an album in six years. But why I was just you like, crying? Because they just was so nonchalant and everything, like it didn't even matter. They was like, whoop de doo Stupid ass kids. Oh, they get them like, oof. Guess what? I sing and act for a living. That means. You get more shoes, you get more hair, you get more perfume, you get more food, you get more vacations, you get more everything. Now shut up and act, act as if this is the best thing that's ever happened to you in your life.
Gigi, you got a lot on your shoulders and you got a lot going on and you are more emotional than I have ever seen you. You're definitely going through postpartum. It doesn't matter that he's eight months old. It never stopped. I'm in a horrible depression right now in my life. There are other women out here that understand what I'm talking about and what I'm going through. And um, it's like everything is all on my shoulders. And thank God I got big old broad football shoulders. At least I can try to carry some. The way you just snap out of nowhere and then you hold stuff in and you cry so easy. And we're not criers, you're not a crier. I have never seen Kiki going through major postpartum and depression. If she misses Kizaya, he's in the hospital more than he's at home, then you got um, the teenagers with their smart mouth and drama, and I pray for it every day, whether she realizes it or not. I think that you gotta find a way to fix this situation with Andre. That's a big part. I don't care how much you do that. This is a big part of what's wrong with you. Andre Crenshaw, let's talk about him. Hello, world. My name is Andre Crenshaw. I am Kiki Wyatt. Hold on because I have to write it down, it's so much. I am Kiki's Guspin, her manager, her role manager, her sound guy, her music director. I'm also her personal assistant, her publicist, her social media manager, her lawyer, her marriage counselor, her problem solver, her exclusive booking agent, her therapist, her bodyguard, her stylist, her emotional support, her secretary, her damage controller, her CPA. I'm all of that to Kiki White. And she's not talking to me. That is so frustrating. He gets on my dang old nerves sometimes, I ain't gonna lie, because he tries to control my life. I literally think that he thinks that I'm a little dummy, and he's like got the little thing, I'm like. Like literally in real life is how I feel. I just feel like he wasn't there for me in the moment that I needed him, and. But was he being reasonable? Not to me. Because you know if you can just get your life more back to normal, then maybe some of this will stop. The only way I'm going to talk to him if he come up to my door. If he don't come up to my she, door. I'm just saying. But I'm just saying, if he don't come to my door, I don't want to talk to him. I don't think my mom understands, but I don't really care how she feels about it, honestly. I am entitled to feel however I want to feel, and if I don't want to talk to somebody, I don't have to talk to them. I don't care who thinks what. You have to, um... Go downstairs. What? What, baby? When I was playing with my dolls that you gave me, Wyatt came over to me and farted in my face for no reason. Well, that's what brothers do. I'm so sorry. Fart oh. back in his face. Join the club, girl. Fart back on him. Gotcha, just don't on yourself. Go eat some eggs and then fart on Oh, him. don't do that. Kinky, that's so nasty. Come on, y'all. Oh, I'm ready to go in. Today is my home closing, and I am so excited. I don't know what to do. My mother, my sister, my father, and my boyfriend are with me at this closing. Hey! Y'all come and get some food. This is just beautiful. The most important part, my keys. I don't even need to open it, honey. I'm just gonna take it just like this. That's all I need. Thank you. I'm going here. Okay. I haven't told y'all. Kiki has not talked to me in like a lot of days. But Andre, how many times has that happened? And that no, you, you all, know uh, you know, mend things, and then it's just like you pick up where you leave off. Actually, I mean, geez, what is the deal uh, this time? We was going to a party. So she called me earlier that day and was like, well, I don't know if I want to go to the party because that person makes me feel uncomfortable because, like, I don't know wow. what, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I said, oh, okay, I didn't think nothing about it. Right. She's like, um, is 
Zachariah is getting on my nerves because he was like, why do we need to go to the party if they make you feel uncomfortable or whatever? I said, well, your husband is right. Mm -hmm. if, he, if he makes you feel uncomfortable, then don't go, don't go right. to the party mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. But she felt like I was agreeing with him. So for that, she got upset. And I'm like, you can't, even if you're upset with me, you can't let that get in the way of side. your business yeah, right. because I'm still closing deals. I'm still sending her money. I got too far deep in wanting more for her than she wanted right. for herself. So right. therefore, it just made me take, like, look at all of my, the things that I want to do. Right. Like my Focus companies mm -hmm. and stuff yeah. like that, my yeah. inventions, right. the holiday right. collection. Maybe this is confirmation that you do need to focus on you. I'm just going to make some boundaries. I realized that God actually gave me a gift to be able to work with Kiki because I don't know if anybody else could do it. This so. may be a blessing, like, in disguise. Hey, I'm your manager. That's work. You know, whenever you can, you can be picked up. We've been together 13 years because if we have something to say, we're going to tell each other. That, so I'm popping up at the house. I'm tired of seeing you go through things. I'm tired of you calling me. So the then last that means time. it's me, right? All I do is give and give and give. I give every piece of me to everybody mm -hmm. to where I forget about me. I'm tired of that. Mm -hmm. And then I give, like Andre had, I have given him so much control over me and my life and my everything. Like, I so, know that's hard for you. Yeah. But it, it feels like he's taking advantage of it to a degree sometimes. Mom and Dr Uncle Andre, they don't fight that often. I think sometimes like she can just get in a space where she's just like not even listening to, to like anyone or like she's just hyper focused on one thing so everything else is blocked off. I, I just love you. It's a different time right now. I've never mm -hmm. dealt with a child that is, mm -hmm. you know, considered handicapped to the world. I, I, yeah. I never, you know, and then on top of that, I had just given birth, and then so I'm dealing with the depression of that. I'm dealing with the, the postpartum, and then, you know, and then we're at it, and yeah. then it's just everything added on, and then I'm kiki quiet. I can't go to the damn grocery store and get a pack of bread without having to feel like I'm on a stage and I have to take pictures and if you don't then people say you're a bitch or you're this yeah. or you're that. It's it's a too much a lot. No, it's a lot. A lot. Life has hit Kiki hard. When you go through so, so much sometimes you build walls and you put these things up and nobody's not able to see the the real real you inside. And y'all gonna make me cry. Lord Jesus. Baby's coming home today. Babe. Uh, you know? Hold on, is this plugged in? I don't... Because as soon as he comes home, you know he's they're gonna let him come home. What? Why are batteries falling? <gasps> Babe, you can't let it touch the floor. Yeah, it's gonna be it'd be just fine. I didn't know. How, it was baby? So that's how I know you don't remember how to put it together. Do you remember how to put it together? Because <clears> I know no, how to put I, it together. I, I got the the um recorded video. Zachariah and I have known each other since we were children. I don't remember not knowing him. We grew up in church together. We were boyfriend and girlfriend, seventh grade. My parents wouldn't let us be together because of our age difference, but we reconnected and it's, it's awesome to have a man in your life that actually will change your baby's diapers. Babies that he didn't push out his loin. He didn't have to go, Oh, to get. I wanted to let you know.
you know, we got all the paperwork ready to go. Okay. So whenever you can, you can be picked up. All right, thank you so much. I will see you in a little bit, okay? Kiki! What, ma'am? Are y'all ready? When I tell you I'm a nervous wreck around this baby, <laughs> he really is healthy, but he's got some issues. You've got oxygen coming out of his nose. You've got a feeding tube coming out of his nose. You've got a pulse ox on his foot. Ooh, my lip stuck to his face. Hey, what was that? That's a lot for any mother, but she's got this. I, I, listen, I got full confidence. Your mama is happy, little boy. Is his ventilator in there? I think everything yeah. is in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Isaiah is such a fighter. Like, he's literally built like his dad, and he's got his mama's heart, and he's getting through this. He's such a macho, macho man. I hope to never right. see you again. Great, right, great, right, great. Exactly. Let's go. Yes, nice to you. Bless y'all. Maybe I'm a different person. Ah, smuggers, booger. Oh, this is your first time riding home, and it's dark outside. It is it that baby boy. Oh, this drive is definitely deja vu. Every other time he's been in the hospital, like he'll come home for a week or a couple days and then he'll have to go back for something else. I cannot believe that I'm looking at my baby in this freaking You can finally be car. happy now. I know. Nothing I can make you happy. I don't have to be miserable anymore. I'm not gonna cry. We're gonna move on, but my life with Keziah is still amazing and I, I would not trade this for nothing else in the world. I've just been pulling up some songs that need to be finished. I got a time frame to get this album done. We've been together 13 years, and we're going to keep going. So I'm popping up at the house. I'm tired of seeing you go through things. I'm tired of you calling me. Forgive me for saying that. On all respect, shut up. Not like a mother's love and a baby. I don't I'm so, understand. I'm so tired of being because that postpartum depression is one thing. Yeah. And then you pile on to mother that can't have her baby. No matter what his new normal is, I want us to get used to it in a hurry so that you can get basically up out of the seat you're sitting in. Better I, life. I don't want you to sit in that seat anymore. That's right, a better life. Babies. Wait, is that oh, my brother? That me. <laughs> That's my brother! Why are y'all so loud? Oh my God, when Kizaya comes home, mom is so happy. And when mom is happy, <laughs> everybody's happy. Cause it's just, oh my God, I've been waiting to see him. We don't have to be in the hospital. Everybody wants to touch him. Like everybody's like a whole line. Okay, mommy's gonna fix your food. Cause I know you, okay, he's so gotta be hungry. Does he got a powder open already? Yeah, like right, right in the oh, bathroom. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Y'all, please, I gotta think. Okay. Babe, I had I had the the I had a the the thing for his milk. Did they move it, the people? I don't know. Mimi, you're holding his his head, his head is too is too crunched over. Yeah, Make it's not in the booth. I, I feel like I could not be my baby's 100% mom and having 10 other children that I have breastfed, I'm not able to do that because he's on a feeding tube and it is not a good feeling. I need some space. Yeah, you're here tearing Please, your fingers can, up. Uh, yeah. Come on, you guys, let's just go out for a little bit. Kiki is my main concern because I watch her try to 
help everyone fix everybody's problems. And she hasn't resolved this issue with Andre yet. She needs him in her life because he is her balance. Uh, it's okay, man. It's a lot. Hey. How are you? How are you? Are you ready for today? I am, are you? Excitement, yes. What's up? I'm Kissy Lee. I'm a singer-songwriter. I've written for, like, Jacquees, Jacob Lattimore, OMG Girls, Skylar Stecker. had number ones on Billboard. I just enjoy writing and singing my songs, and I enjoy watching my artists sing my songs, so. We already have a song that we kind of started. I was gonna, I can probably email it or airdrop yeah, it. Let's airdrop. I did start off songwriting for Kiki, and we just became really close friends, and it turned into family. Now she's my sister. Oh, look who's in here. Hi. Uh, is that Auntie got mommy? Hi, baby. Hi, Good Auntie. evening. It's weird because, like, when I'm with Kiki, I just literally look at her as, like, this is my family. She's the godmother of my child, and I'm the godmother of five of her babies. It just feels normal to me. Girl, I've just been pulling up some songs that need to be finished. OK. Kissy and I started writing songs together whoo, 15 years ago. <laughs> we connect on a level in writing. I'll be thinking one line, and then she'll have a whole nother line, and they, like, come together so perfectly. It's the weirdest crap. You know me, I got all the songs. Ideas we've even started. Is this something that I already worked on? Mm hmm Warrior of Love. Did I write it? Mm hmm Oh, I forgot mm -hmm. I did. I know you did. <laughs> I wrote that by Yeah. <laughs> Remember? When I'm recording, I sing from a place of true love, true hurt, true happiness, and it just all bleeds out into my music. I can't even help it. We can really build off of this. Mm -hmm. You want to try to work on some verses? I'm getting a, a my vibe. He said him too. He wants. Yeah, he wants this one. Kiki just has so much going on right now. She has Kizaya, which is major, like, first concern. Then she has all the 11 million hundred kids at home. But hopefully today we can just sit down and have a great session, come out with some hits, some singles, and yeah. We still working, child, so. Right, because I see the know, flyers. You booked and booked. Part, <laughs> so I'm good. doing City Winery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you like to do your thing? I'm there. Tell me when and where, what I need to do, how much time I got. Um, it's six shows in three days. Ooh, I can do that. I can do that. This is a huge, huge opportunity because I will be stepping from behind the scenes as a songwriter and get to be the artist that I love to be as well. And to open up for Kiki Wyatt, like, she has a huge fan base. So I really actually got to bring it. I got to get on this stage and do what I do. Let's write this song, because now I'm excited. We're, we're both very important, baby. Get into it. Let's knock it out. OK. I'm very selective who opens up for me. And I love her. I like what she does. I like her music. And I want to help her to get to the next level. OK. You ready? Just run melodies. She's a strong woman, that's all I gotta say. She's gonna have to fill up on some Red Bulls or some Monsters or some Bangs or somebody. Cause she gonna need some energy. You can't, she already can't sleep when Kizai is here. So can't sleep on top of studio, recording, singing. Oh, I mean, we. Good morning, my love. How are you? I'm doing all right. How you doing? I'm doing good. I was just calling to let you know I'm headed to uh, Kiki's house because today's the 25th day that I have not talked, that she has not answered my text back or 
called me back, so I'm going to go. Uh, I'm popping up at the house. Kiki stopped talking to me. I still called her. I still text her. No call back, no text back. So I'm still gonna do my job. If I said I'm gonna be manager, I'm gonna be manager, whether she's talking to me or not. Then you tell me another manager that'll do that. I'll wait. We've been together 13 years because we never go to bed mad. If we have something to say, we're gonna tell each other and we're gonna keep going. She broke all of that. So that's the reason I'm really upset. I agree with everything you're saying. However, she's extremely sensitive to you. When you go in, just don't go in guns blazing because you definitely wanted to hear what you're saying. All right, baby, I love you. I'll call you as soon as I get through. All right, baby. All right, talk to you later. Where are you taking me tonight, period? <laughs> Bye. I really don't know how this conversation is about to go. And to be honest with you, I'm really nervous. Who is that? I don't know. Nerve. It's my brother. What up, brother? No, I'm coming on this way. <laughs> yeah, right. This Christmas tree. Hey, my brother. God. Dre is my brother. He's been taking care of Kiki for a long time. It's not a big deal if he pops up the house, even unannounced or whatever, because, you know, that's my brother. He's welcome anytime. What y'all doing? Sitting here eating. Hey, Katara. How you doing? Mm. You burst into mm. tears now. Oh. <laughs> Look, you know I'm upset, honey. You know I still have to give her my hug. Yeah. Well, you look pretty. Hey, um... Why are you acting like you just... <laughs> I, mean, I look what? pretty. Yeah. I look pretty. Uh-huh. That's how much I love you. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh so you are gonna tell me I look pretty when I'm really down? No, no. no I love you enough to go past my feelings and be like, oh, okay, you still look pretty because you really do. Go past wow. your feelings? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for the compliment. Showing up at my house right now is about as welcomed as a freaking fart in an elevator. The only way I'm gonna talk to him if he come up to my door. If he don't come up to well, my she, door. I'm just saying. But I'm just saying, if he don't come to my door, I don't wanna talk to him. Brother, can me and Kiki just yep, have this? Yep. And then, because I don't want to bring, I want to separate, because today I just want me and her to get right so we can do what we got to do, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. So, I haven't heard from you in 25 days and two um, hours. So oh, we're counting like, the hours. Yes, minutes and minutes. Well, I'm glad you feel that it's important. Yes, I do. I definitely do. Even over all of that, I love you, so I need to make sure you was okay. So I was like, let me come over here and put... Even but I'm I not okay. Oh, and, and that's my whole problem, because I'm not okay. And I told you that I wasn't okay, and you were insensitive, and it was just like, girl, it's okay, it's okay. You worried about nothing, and under, but it, it's something to me. I ain't never not talk to you every day. Exactly. So that's what really... So that should let you know how hurt I am. I've... Uh, how many years? Almost 20 uh, years? Uh, yes. Uh, and I've never... That should let you know that what kind of place I'm in. I'm dealing with postpartum depression. I'm dealing with stress and depression from just the baby being in and out of the hospital. I'm depressed because I feel like I don't have no no freedom. I feel like I'm stuck in this house. I feel like I'm stuck in my life. And when I, when I come to you, even if I'm wrong, wrong for two seconds, you can at least be like, I don't care if you're wrong. 
I'm listening, I'm here, I hear you, I got you. And you just won't do it. We're on the roller coaster, up, down, up, down, up, down, because she's in her feelings. And like, sometimes I'm tired of, I'm tired of wearing this seatbelt. I have to put this seatbelt on every day, because I don't know what the ride's going to be, what the Kiki ride going to be. You have your right to feel that. For, for me, I just wanted you to communicate that. Like, I'm upset with you because, because with me having to- But I always feel like I communicate. And this time I just didn't want to communicate because okay. I felt like maybe if I don't communicate, maybe he'll see how deep and how serious this is for me this time. I've been with you for so long, Kiki. I'm tired of seeing you go through things. I'm tired of you calling me with the same, because it's the same thing, even with so the last time. So then that means time. it's me, right? Well, I, it, well if it's, it, if it's, it's a spike, if it's a cycle, then that means it's me. Sweet muffin. Yes, it's you. Well, I, listen, we, I don't know. Do you, it's, it's something that... If there's a cycle, then it's got to be me. For some reason, Kiki cannot have an adult conversation and agree to disagree. And it becomes a whole production. A whole production. Broadway. Drama. See, this is my... Listen to him walking up there. I guarantee he at the door. This is my, my thing. You're hustling. You hustling, baby! You bad. No, brother. No, he don't kiss no huh? You he bad. was just calling your name. Baby, I, this Bro, is, this is our room. Because you didn't say nothing. This is our room, brother. But I can hear you walking right Baby. Here. Brother, go to the room and enjoy yourself while I got her captive I down love here. You, baby. I'm here, I'm and I just... I know, but why you... Won't y'all... But we be fine. We don't need you listening. Can, can I say... You, be, you might as well just be sitting right here. I, I, forgive me for you saying that. Me but all shush? respect, shut up.